Hey there and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share our new living room with you guys. You have been seeing a lot of this on my Instagram, but today I'm gonna reveal it and we're gonna decorate it together. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIYs, and I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you are returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's start making this house a home. So to get started in our living room, I wanted to close in that opening and also remove the rock. It took a couple hours just to remove everything. We got all of this cleaned up and just added some sheetrock and some plywood to start to frame in the fireplace. I also wanted to spray some of that gold out black and um, my husband went to school for architecture, so he was kind enough to sketch out my dream fireplace, and then we just painted it the same color as the walls. Once we framed in that little part where uh, we were thinking of putting a bar in, we had to actually retexturize the wall, which didn't take too long, but it did slow the project down a little bit, but here's how it all turned out. I couldn't be happier, and I'm so excited to be decorating it with you guys today. To get started in this space, I wanted to remove this rug and get the floor all cleaned. That way I can have a nice palette to start with. When I do any decorating, especially in a larger space, like a whole room, not just like a tabletop decor, I like to clean everything out and start fresh so it's almost like a canvas. So for this room, I wanna remove everything and then I'm gonna to start to decide what goes in here. The first thing we need to do though is get a new rug. I found a beautiful rug at Home Goods. I was looking everywhere and I walked in and they happened to have exactly what I was looking for, which is great because I didn't have to wait for shipping or any of that, but I am going to remove this rug deep clean underneath and then we'll get decorating. For the living room, I decided to go with lots of beautiful blues, whites, golds. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, we are going to be putting hardwood floor into the house. I don't know when that starts. It still hasn't all arrived here, but because um, this tile is not the vibe. It's not on the level <laughs> that I want to be on in here, but for now, we'll use this beautiful rug to kind of cover that up. And I want to bring in just a lot more softness. My style is really tr more traditional, maybe with like a pop of contemporary. Um, so we're definitely going to be using um, some nicer things in here that are more my style. Uh, when we first moved in, I kind of went down this like modern rabbit hole and just realized it's just not me. I'm not that cool. <laughs> so we're going to go back to just traditional. I love kind of French inspired, um, kind of French inspired or Parisian vibes. So I'm going to stick with that. There's some furniture I'm just going to repurpose for this room for now. And then after the floors get done, I am going to probably change out the cotton coffee table and the commode that I'm going to be adding to this room but for now it will work and it's a whole lot cheaper to just get this project done and buttoned up before the floors go in.
I'm gonna clean this out. We used to have this by the front door and I put all the kids' shoes in it or at the top, like things that guests left at the house. That way I don't forget to give it to them next time they come over. But I wanna clean all this out and add blankets in here. It's one of the things I've had on my list of um, things that I wanna actually clean because I always have blankets in this room and I end up just kind of storing them to the side of the couch. But now I have this commode here so I can just add them right in here. And for the couch, I'm also looking for some new blankets um, that are a little more creamy for the couch, but for now I'm gonna use something different. I loved having the black and white in here, but I definitely wanna go with a more soft um, feeling in this space and just really transform it to be a place that I love to spend time in. wanted to add these beautiful florals I got from Balsam Hill. I will link them all down below because I do have a coupon code for them. If you guys are interested in getting any spring florals, I highly recommend checking them out. They're almost like heirlooms you can pass on to your children. It's just, they're just, the quality is just unmatched. They're beautiful. I also got a ton of new cookbooks because if you guys are new here, I am building a giant garden. It will be the first time I've ever done a garden before and I am so excited. And I wanted to um, just figure out how to do like homemade uh, sauces and a lot of dehydrating of herbs to make my own spices and things like that. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you guys want to check that out with me this summer. And then I added my article chair over here and this beautiful pillow I picked up from Home Goods, just very cute and springy. And then I wanted to use my Balsam Hill mohair blanket on this couch just to kind of, again, bring in a little bit of softness. I picked up a ton of new pillows from Target and ended up going back and buying even more of them for this couch. They had a 20% off sale on pillows, so I kind of took advantage of that. Sorry if you live in the Napa area and wanted these pillows because I bought all of them, but they're beautiful. And each one is, they're a little bit different, so it doesn't look identical, but I also think it really transforms this couch and the pillows that came on this couch were kind of not that great. They're very thin. And um, what I do love about this couch is it's very cleanable. So I can just use my um, Bissell to actually get stains out of it very quickly. Um, again, I'll link it all down below if you guys are interested. And then I found these really cute double-sided pillows. I, again, it brings in that French country vibe to the space. Um, I wanted to throw in here just to bring some warmth into the area, but I think it turns out beautiful. I'm gonna add some more flowers and I'll show you guys how it all turns out. Now that I have the living room done, I wanted to clean out the kitchen and I decided to do a little decorating for Easter. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me. I am going to add just a little couple cute things in here before I do like my major 
uh, Easter Decorate With Me, which will be up very soon. If you guys are looking for some Easter decor inspiration, definitely check out all of my past videos because I've always decorated for Easter. I have some great recipe ideas and some fun things to do for your kids or grandkids uh, in, the, in the Easter season. So all I'm gonna do is clean up in here and then we're gonna get decorating and I also have a really beautiful tablescape as well. I found these beautiful uh, spring floral stems at oh, Target. If you guys are looking, it's in the hearth and hand section. They're really pretty. I like how whimsical they are. Actually, the trees in front of our house are very similar to these, um, but most of the florals have fallen off now and all the green is pushing through. But I wanted to just add something to break up the kitchen from the living room, so I decided to add these. I also got this vase at Home Goods. Um, I like it. It's not totally my style, but I think it really works well with these. Uh, uh, floral stems. Over here I wanted to add just some cute little pops of Easter and um, I decided to add some florals as well. I wanted to remove everything that I had for the kids over by the sink. We have spring break coming up next week and I'm thinking about doing a video of how, how I plan for our kids for spring break. They're out of school for 10 days. Um, we aren't gonna be traveling with them, but um, I do have some fun things so I might share those with you. But I wanna just clean this space off and really just get it nice and clean in here. And then I obviously wanna do a cute Easter tablescape uh, for the following day. So I decided to add some of the things that I had from our old house to this table. And I found some new placemats at Target as well that I wanted to just kind of bring in some neutrals. I can't wait to be um, fully decorated for Easter and I will definitely share that with you guys real soon. But this is the nice uh, little touch to the table that I have. We also will be starting construction on the dining room hopefully in the next month uh, so definitely stick around so you guys see how that turns out as well Here is how everything turned out. I absolutely love these stems. If you guys haven't seen some of my past videos, we did do a DIY makeover on these countertops. They were a really deep green and I did an epoxy kind of marble look to it. And then I also used an incredible paint that didn't require any sanding or priming or any real prep, uh, which I will link all down below because I think they still have an active coupon code there. Um, so if you guys are looking to transform your kitchen, definitely take a look at that video. Uh, we did this in a couple days and it turned out beautiful. Eventually we will be gutting this kitchen, um, possibly putting in French doors out to the garden, but that is not going to be until next year because I want to enjoy summer and I don't want to live in a construction site forever. Um, but this is how all the decor turned out. I like how simple and clean the bar area is now and this living room turned out so beautiful and I'm loving how the fireplace just really transformed 
transform this space and closing in that wall. I got some questions on Instagram as to why we didn't hang the TV over the fireplace and I just didn't want a TV over the fireplace. It's such a beautiful space. So having the commode underneath, I think it gives it its own wall. And then I'm going to be putting a mirror up there. I was just kind of testing out that round one, but I'm going to be doing a different one, I think. Um, I also want to put wreaths up there and really be able to decorate it throughout the seasons. I think the pillows totally transform that couch, make it look a little more luxurious. And I just think this is the cutest little tablescape just in time for Easter. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and subscribing to my channel. I will be doing a lot more for Easter and obviously a bunch of spring decor as well. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye!